Yay. Good evening, you do. Yes. Hello. Oh, we got a fan in Ohio. I'm sorry that you live in Ohio. Ohio sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> As a former Michigan resident, I must crap on Ohio every chance I get. Oh, yes. I got to remember to look up at the camera. Yes. Testarossa updates. Right off the bat, Testarossa update. Jeez, that didn't take long. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, where's your wine glass? Oh, I need to get it. Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to help you. See? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, before we get going, I guess there's a few people here. I have to give thanks immediately to, uh, yes, one of our viewers actually uh, gifted us some wine. So tonight's Wining with Dan and Meg is effectively sponsored but not sponsored it's gifted with some wine from one of the viewers so that's pretty awesome damn you broads are sexy there's more <laughs> i guess i'm lumped in with the broads now yeah let me curl my hair yeah <laughs> uh yes okay ah, yeah okay um, move over a little oh, bit yeah, i'm sorry ah, here we go okay gotta move stuff around just getting going. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. Can you pull this chair up? <laughs> a minute. Higher? Yeah. Oh, there's speed. Not as high it. as it goes. No, there's a level. Short go. people problems. Oh, your phone's in your butt. There oh, you go. There you go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, another whining with Dan and Meg. Is this wine? No, this is just a live cast. Hey. Big speed. Hey. You need, to, you need to come back on down to, to Austin. So anytime you want to come down to Austin, you are more than welcome to stay at our house again. Oh, uh, who's bringing us? He's uh, one of the guys that came down for the uh, influencer invasion that had the Corvette. Oh, hello. Uh, Dan um, introduces me to a lot of people. There is a constant foot traffic of strange men I don't know in my house. And I'm always like, hi. <laughs> That guy's name is Canadians in Cars Getting Cocky. No, I've seen his name for like a long time actually on stuff though. It's Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Ryan, if you're watching too. I don't know if Ryan is watching. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we should have a one with Dan, Megan. Okay. People Dude. want to talk about the Testarossa. Okay. Clearly. Well, Clearly, you should talk about it. All right, yeah. Even though we covered it in the last well, live feed. I was planning on doing an actual video about it, but I guess it won't matter because no one watches the, the live stuff that much. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to if you can hear Moses in the background, he's desperate to come upstairs, but he's just going to make trouble if he comes up here. Yeah, I'm going to take this off. It's, actually, it's hot. It's really hot. Yeah, so Dan's wig is hot. If you didn't know, Austin was like 70-something degrees today. Should I let him up? I guess so. Okay, I'm going to let the dog up, guys. Because he's just going to keep barking. <laughs> Um, anyway, so real quick, Testarossa update. Um, the Testarossa is not happening. So unfortunately, there's a big, long thing. It's longer than I'm going to be discussing in a live video. So I'm going to actually do a video on that, giving an update on why the whole Testarossa thing became a debacle and kind of fell apart. So we're not going to be doing the Testarossa, unfortunately. It is uh, – I'm very disappointed about that. It is a uh, – Unfortunate thing. Hello, Mo. Hi. So, kiss Moses for me. Oh, we will. Oh, I can kiss Moses. <laughs> I'll kiss him anytime. How oh. old? What are we drinking tonight? Tonight, we have the Mossy. Whoa! He's getting heavy, guys. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> there he is. There's Mo. In all his glory. Hi, Mo. Yeah, Mo's over 50 pounds already. Yeah, he's pretty heavy. So he's he's a growing boy. Um, yes, it's this wine. I don't know how to pronounce that. What does it say? Bona Costa. This is the Valpicella. Oh, Valpicella. So that's and Italian. Again, this was gifted to us. This was gifted to us by so a wonderful viewer. That was pretty cool. I'm I'm sure in honor of these episodes. Yes, yes, that was very nice. Are we live? We are live. We are live. Yes, mouse trap. <laughs> Oh, Mousetrap. He shows up for everything. Yes. Mousetrap, you're a shower upper. Oh, it's Kevin. Hey. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. Where's Kevin? Right there. Oh. Oh, yes, James. I have the artwork. I actually want to put it in the wall in the garage. I just need to, like, 
I was debating, like, so at some point I was thinking about painting the wall in the garage because, like, the paint's falling off because they clearly didn't primer the garage drywall properly. And so, anyway, I was thinking about that, but I haven't. So, anyway, I need to do that. Um, if viewers were like, would like to send you wine. Mousetrap. Uh, You're sweet. Thank you. <laughs> but if viewers do, you have a, well, is that even a good idea to encourage? If you're, well, so yeah. sending me wine might be kind of weird. I probably can't ask for it because I think shipping it to Texas might be illegal. I don't Texas know. Texas got, I think, kind of uh, antiquated laws about it. So yeah. you don't really want to do that. Yeah, it's a weird state. Like, we're all like, guns and freedom, but you can't send wine through the mail because because yeah. <laughs> alcohol. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> Like, do you know in Texas, you cannot buy booze from the grocery store before, I think, noon? Well, on you Sunday, can't. On Sunday. Wait, on they Sunday. don't even sell hard liquor in the grocery store here. No, no, yeah, no. yeah. You can't buy hard liquor at the grocery store. But no, I mean, not like, in Texas. But I mean, like, wine. You can't even buy wine before or noon? beer before noon. But That was actually the same in Michigan when I was growing up, though. But you can go to, like, a restaurant and get a mimosa at, like, 9 a.m. on Sunday. So... How do I feel about Christy Brinkley poster on the wall? Okay, so the Christy Brinkley poster, I don't mind at all, but I'll tell you guys the uh, origin thereof. It was because a lot of these uh, older, more like classic vintage Ferraris uh, were there during the heyday of people like Vera Fawcett and Christy Brinkley. So they're they're there for atmosphere in the garage. Dan doesn't necessarily covet the, the 70s and 80s supermodels, but I think Christy Brinkley's gorgeous and she... I'm totally jealous because she married Billy Joel. Um, and uh, yeah, I have no problem with Christy Brinkley in the garage. You need a Meg poster in the merch no, store. No, we don't. That's weird. <laughs> I'm not, no. I've actually, uh, so the the uh, outro picture that I've been using lately, I've actually um, sent off to have uh, five posters made of that. Uh, I, I, I guess there's something I can bring up. So. Very, very soon, I think probably Sunday, I'm going to turn on what are called memberships, which is this YouTube feature. So my channel is finally big enough. You have to be over 40,000 subscribers to get memberships. Um, so basically, once you get memberships, it allows you guys, if you want to. Oh, God. Hi, you. Greg. Gold. Gold. <laughs> it allows people to subscribe to the channel. And it's basically like, Patreon, but through Google or through YouTube, I should say. So anyway, I'm going to turn that on probably Sunday. Um, but anyway, the reason I was going with that is uh, the different membership levels have different things that you can like get because of it. it's like discounts on merch. And um, I'm debating having like kind of like behind the scenes videos every once in a while. But um, one of the things I'm going to offer is for the highest level of membership, you're going to get a poster the the you know the big poster of all of us the normal guy crew so oh boy now it's scrolling really fast yes christy brinkley did it's drive up. a ferrari in national lampoon's vacation and that is the reason why i bought the christy brinkley poster hey so, boost and barbell hey oh, oh wait that's bianca, bianca. yes yeah. where's that's here she's there right at the bottom oh hello you should like join us one of these days we have plenty yeah. of, we have plenty of wine we have plenty of wine <laughs> Does your membership offer a discount at Goodwill? I mean, not really, but no, no, not that I know of. Uh, it's funny. Yes, the older videos are very bad. Like I, actually, I was talking to one of my good friends, Andy from Michigan, earlier today, just about that. He's like, "Man, I was going through some of your old videos," and he's like, "Dude, they're so amateur." <laughs> yeah, but that's how all the channels are. If you go back to anybody's oh, yeah. oh, early yeah. videos, I'm sure. Yeah, because you learn so much. Um, do I do any coding on my free time? Actually, for the channel, yes, I do some stuff for my website. I'm just showing somebody what we're drinking. Yes, this is what it's we're a drinking. Val and if you can pronounce that, Bona, Co Bona Costa. Mm. Yes. And yes, now thank you for everybody in the world educating me that Huracan is Spanish and not Italian. Yes. Yesterday. Oh, that reminds me. Someone asked, "Am I getting a Lambo?" No. 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 Yeah, no. Uh, we are a no. one supercar family. Oh yes. Hey, Bianca said, count me in. Let me know for the next one. All cool. right. We'll have a guest next time. A guest. 
any European plans, Autobahn, Spa, race, no, uh, not at the moment, just because of finances. Although, yeah, well, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. It's, yeah. It's personal stuff. Uh, stay with Ferrari. I'm, I have no plans on. Uh, yeah, the Ferrari isn't going anywhere. Yeah. I Look, so I guess I should clarify. I really enjoyed driving the Lamborghini, but I love my Ferrari. Like, I. The, the 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 Lamborghini. Someone said you have plenty of Bona Costa. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to mean. We yeah. have plenty of this. Um, yeah, so I'd be interested to see the cost of memberships. They start at two bucks a month. <laughs> yeah. Can we please review a McLaren? I think that's probably yeah, going yeah. to happen. Actually, we're, we're actually uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, David. If he's watching, I don't know if he is, but a friend of mine has a McLaren. Offered to let us do a review on it, so I'm going to be contacting him and see if we can get that arranged. So the the hard part is like just kind of trying to figure out timing and ability to like get a car. And the other thing is we're kind of figuring out that we like the format of having the car in our garage because it's like it's a familiar setting that you're you're used to and yeah. because now i've set up the garage to kind of be a studio which is kind of crazy but like yeah it is crazy i've got so much light in the garage like i know you guys kind of sometimes see the lights like up in the ceiling and stuff i've put like 20 something lights up there oh porter our neighbor is here he's a 13 year old oh. boy uh porter type out the name of your channel is it chuddly yeah, if anybody can look in the stream here, there's this really sweet young man who walks hop, I mean, excuse me, Moses three times a week. Um, and the name is C-H-U-T-T-L-E-L-Y. It's Porter. He has a train channel. And if you want to me, do me a big favor, well, first you sub should subscribe to my husband, but then you should subscribe to my sweet next door neighbor, Porter, um, whose channel is awesome. Yes. People yeah. have been asking a lot about a uh, alternative to the Phoenix headers for the 430. I don't, I don't know. Uh, someone needs to tell me what is a good alternative because I no longer own one. I haven't looked into the market. I don't know exactly when Phoenix went out of business, but Phoenix no longer produces headers, so unfortunately those are gone. That sucks. Do I have any thoughts on an S line exhaust for a three three sixty? Yeah, it'd fucking sound good. I'm oh, sorry, I shouldn't say F and No F word. Uh, it would sound great. The Phoenix, the S line exhaust sounds amazing. Um, when is Meg's car get an upgrade from the Mini Cooper? She it doesn't. Stuff. She loves her Mini. Why does everybody think? Okay, like okay, so we can. I Kevin. Know that, Kevin. Who is, it? who is it? It's Kevin. Oh, hey, Kevin. From New York. Uh, um, so. Uh, I don't want a different car. I don't, this isn't my thing. I'm just supportive of, I love my husband. And so I am along for this ride. I don't want a Ferrari. I happen to be in the middle of life circumstances where I ended up with one. Um, I don't, I love my mini Cooper. Yeah. I'm not, I don't oh, need a different car. So S line does currently only make exhaust, but, uh, I've been talking to the guy who owns S line and, I think the goal is for him to eventually make some headers. So um, that may happen in the future, hopefully. So, you know, like he builds uh, exhaust systems for 360, 430, and 458. And uh, I'm actually, I sent him Loper's old cats and he's making some cat deletes, which he's gonna send to me very soon. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, so I'm gonna, as soon as he gets those made, he's gonna ship them to me and we're gonna throw those in. And obviously my car's gonna sound absolutely epic. And then uh, we discussed the possibility of sending him some headers and having him build the headers. The problem is he kind of needs mock-ups, right? So he needs someone to send him headers in order to kind of get the size set up and all that stuff. So yeah, I know for the 430, the headers are the most important part, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, Gave him the chill. Oh, I, don't know. Yeah, I, I think my four eight sounds pretty good. It's it could sound better, but it sounds really good. The three the the S line exhaust on it sounds really good, but once it's got the the cat deletes, ooh. We yeah. have a neighbor named Stang Man. Yeah, good to see you, neighbor. Hope us. Well, he's in the, he's in Austin. Oh, okay. I've met him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. Adam. Adam's here. It's a long time no see. I Adam. also saw uh, Andy was here. He was like, hey, Andy. 
I didn't see Andy. See Mike. Mike. <laughs> Uh, okay, who's got questions about stuff? Oh, I'll show, show that. I hate when it like hides things. Hi, Mo. Hi, babe. <laughs> you pick him up. He's heavy if you want to pick him up. Hi, Andrew. Oh. What is the radar detector that you use and why did you oh. pick that one? Oh. Hi, Here. Mo. He's oh. heavy. Hello. You can't even see him in the camera because he's a big boy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so what is the, the radar, radar detector, detector I've you I've got the use? Escort Max 360 CI. They have the, so the, the CI stands for like concealed or something like that. The non-CI is almost as good, and that's the one you can just like plug into a, a thing. Because mine's ridiculously expensive. Um, how's the kitchen? It's really nice. The kitchen is very nice. Thank you. I love my Valentine one. Valentine ones are getting old, man. They have not changed that technology in like 20 years. I think Valentine ones are crap. Sorry. Have you seen the video of Rob Freddy's Rec 40? I've seen the thumbnail and it was suggested that I watch it. But um, the funny thing is I really don't watch many people's YouTube videos. I know it sounds weird being a YouTuber, but I really don't actually watch that much other YouTube stuff. Um, when I do, a lot of it's more for like ideas or just trying to figure out like what's going on in the YouTube world. How about Mo? Poor Mo. You know, he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mo. Is Blackview coming out with a new top of the line dash cam to replace the 900? Uh, yeah. It, well, I'm not 100% sure, but when I was at, um, when I was out in Vegas okay. at the, uh, uh, what was it, SEMA? They had a new Blackview dash cam that like connects to like using your cell phone or whatever. I don't know. Somehow it uploads the stuff immediately instead of over Wi-Fi. So do you know the history of your car and why it was painted once in life? Yeah, I, I actually I know why the rear deck was painted because it used to have a giant ass wing. It there are was, pictures of your car with the wing. Yes, yeah. there are. Um, actually I could pull I could take a picture and show up my cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I have let's pictures see. of it. I'll look it up. You keep reading. Are you going to Cletus and Cars 2020? Probably not. Probably would be not. my guess. Do you shell oil in Ferrari? Or, yes, he uses shell. I, well, not oil, but gas. Oh, gas. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Even though the case has not been updated, they've updated the firmware and software over the. Oh, thank you, Chuck. There we go. Oh, I don't take a picture and then show the picture of the picture. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. okay. Wait till you see this. So this is a picture of my 458 while the, like, uh, immediately after the last owner no. uh, traded it in. So you can see that is why it had to get repainted because it had a giant ass wing on it. And so they drilled holes in the rear deck lid. So I'm actually taking the car to get repainted next week. So I have a, a really cool plan for what we're going to do for this car for the next uh, probably about two weeks. So um, my buddy Brad from Authentic Details is you going to, to put that back on. Someone's a Lambo guy. <laughs> yeah. Did he, did he race the car? Well, he tracked it a lot. So the previous owner is actually a billionaire here in Austin. Yes, B billionaire. This was one of his like 20 something Ferraris. This was his beater. Yeah, so like this was his like beater car, right? When you have like 20 Ferraris, this is, you know, 458, it's like, eh, it's just yeah. a 458. Like this guy was actually known in Austin for driving his Enzo to like work, like daily. Like he drove his Enzo to work for a while. But anyway, so um, my car, he kind of, played with it, had a big old wing on it. They removed the wing. They filled in the holes and did a terrible job painting it. So that, that, is, that is why I'm going to be repainting the rear deck. Um, and then Brad from Authentic Details, we have this cool plan coming up. So you guys are gonna love this. We're gonna redo the PPF, we're gonna redo all the paint. And actually my goal was, I told Brad, I'm like, I want the car to look like as close to original as we can get it. It's not original, I should say, but as close to perfect as we can get it, given that it has as many miles as it does. So, 
Yeah, I know the the shopping cart wing looks terrible. I'm I'm the I'm glad it's gone. Um, don't, don't say that. That sounds terrible. Yeah. It's not like it's not a good term. Uh, Why does everybody think that I am under the imp every like in the video yesterday and right now people are like she is under the influence. They're say I am not <laughs> drunk. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, just reading everything. There's yeah, it's going of, fast. Like some, people put some big uh, uh, paragraphs there. Rob's car got destroyed. All four tires wrecked. Yeah, I heard that. Like his wheels got messed up, but. Someone keeps asking if you've seen the Rob Freddy wreck plan yeah, I haven't video. Watched he hasn't watched that video because no. I've seen that question four times. So I wanted to make sure it got answered. How long am I planning to hold on to support for me? Forever. I have zero intentions. He of believes selling. that when he says it, but he it's not. No, I'm like, seriously, I. Him I, and his brother are always like, this is the no, last car. Dave always knows. He's, Dave's always like a two year guy. No, I think he believes it when he says <laughs> that's his last car. Every time. Loper needs to sell Freddie his old wheels. <laughs> That's funny. I'm working on being under influence. Me too. Yes. Cheers to that. Mm. My four of eight was not owned by Jeff Mosing, although I do know Jeff. I've uh, hung out with Jeff before. Jeff's, Jeff Mosing is a really, really cool guy. Um, yeah. Really, really nice guy. No, it was, it was um, oh, shoot. What was his name? He'll come to me. Anyway, I know the name of the guy who used to own my car. Uh, hilariously, like his garage door opener was still in the glove box when I bought the car, and he even had some like CDs that were like mixed CDs. You know, that was like, oh, it's a mixed CD. Yeah, and it was funny because I was laughing because I'm like, oh my god, like this dude like left his garage door open. I'm like, I wonder if I should go open his garage door. Will you day. put him down there? I'll answer their questions. For, oh, like, yeah. I'll answer your questions for a minute. I can't carry ha uh, Moses down the stair, the spiral staircase, because he's too heavy, and I'll kill him uh, for myself. Adam Burley's is gonna paint it. Burley's will be the place that paints that one little part of Dan's back of his Ferrari. That's right. <sighs> it's right in the middle on the back, below the the plate glass window, which shows off the uh, engine. <sighs> so heavy. I'll trade you guys a 500 gallon tank for a lifetime membership to want. Oh, you mean a, a 500 gallon septic tank, dude? As much as that is a very generous offer, I don't think we have like septic tanks in, in our neighborhood. <laughs> for a lifetime membership of what? Uh, all right. I think he means a lifetime membership to your channel. To my membership thing? To, to your membership thing that hasn't started yet. Yeah, the one that I haven't turned on Would yet. Would I ever consider starting an aquarium channel? You know, honestly, um, uh, like, if you think people who are into cars can get really tiresome, just wait till you spend enough time on internet message boards for fish. Fuck that guy. Okay. Bye-bye. Dan's banning someone. Yeah. God. Choose Dan, uh, PJs and bed sheets. Hey Meg, does Dan no? He doesn't have that because I would have to sleep on it. Any interest in running the Ace of Spades rally, Dan? No, just so uh, you guys. Thank know. you, Chuck. Oh, thank you. Um, blink three times if you give you hostage. <laughs> no, I'm here of my own volition. <laughs> I, it has long gone. It's past hostage. It's Stockholm syndrome. I now identify with my captor. <laughs> yay, yeah. Yay. yay. <laughs> I'm like that rich heiress who robbed the bank with those people back in the day. I always think you're drunk. And I'm like, no. I'm not. This is how I am literally all the time. She's high energy. I am pretty high energy. But people mistake that for being extroverted. And guys, I have to tell you. Like there's a difference between extroverted and um, like being a people person or extra or being introverted and being shy. I'm not shy at all. I'm very <laughs> introverted. That's why everybody always asks Dan why I'm not at cars and coffee and this and that other thing. One, I don't want to go car events. Yeah. And as much as I enjoy all of you, two, like, like those events suck my life force. Like they exhaust me. They do. I feel like mentally and like cerebrally tired after being around huge groups of people. <laughs> Why am I so handsome? I don't get that very often. <laughs> uh, yes. I like, 
1,000 pound feet, they're achieving F1 sound on my 360 best install headers and S line muffler. I agree. Yes, do that. The problem with the 2B I found is the 2B sounds really deep. It's a what very deep that? sound. What? Ew. What? What? Did can we just... hide that? Let me. Yeah, you can just hide it. Hide. Uh, we'll hide just... user. Remove. Oh, I hit it. So. Well, you remove the the messages from that. I guess the user yeah. is not going to say anything yeah. productive. By the way, as you know, my policy on like people being stupid, I just don't tolerate it. Like, come on. Like, you know, I don't, I don't mind if you guys like, you know, saying funny stuff, but like, yeah, that was just, sorry. The lull was we were reading some stuff. We were reading some unfortunate comment that I decided to uh, hide from this live stream. Yeah, it's. Man, yeah, I probably have to ban at least like five to 10 people a week from comments. Cause you know, like it's YouTube, right? It's the lowest common denominator of, of commenting. So, and, and the thing is like by doing that, it's made it so that you guys can actually have a reasonable forum to discuss things. Like, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I feel like the comments on my videos are actually not a cesspool of bullshit. Like they are on some of the channels. Like if you ever go on some of the big channels, it's just like, Oh my God, it's just absolute stupidity and just so many dumb people. So let's get some mods in here. <laughs> I, I, you Can know, you be a mod on a someone else's Facebook page? On a YouTube? I mean, excuse me, not fake. I'm old. <laughs> um, can you be a, you can be a mod on somebody's yeah. YouTube channel? Yeah. They actually allow moderating comments and stuff. Ever driven an F12 TVF? No, but I would love to. That would be amazing. That'd be so awesome. What's written on the board? Those are some of my plans. You yeah, can't, the secret you don't plans. You can see that. <laughs> oh, Andy's comment. Oh. We can we can show that. Ah. Sure. Friends can swear on the on the uh, live yeah. stream. I, that's Andrew, only, Andy can swear. So that's one downside of the live chat. Just so you guys know, is it blocks any swear words because it's live. So like, YouTube's algorithm is like like on high alert, you know, like normally if you comment on my channel, it doesn't necessarily block swear words, but if you're commenting on the live stream and you use a swear word, it's like bam, block. And so I have to, I have to go click on them and improve them, which is kind of stupid, but did Meg ever have a MySpace page? Yes, she did. I did yeah. long, long ago in if the long, long ago. you mention me in your vid, I'll be happy. Okay. Hey, HP Omen. Uh, will you be at Cars and Coffee Sunday? Yes. Yes, he will. I will be. Is Meg Tank? We already discussed this. No. Uh, if you, geez. Okay, we got it. We mentioned you. Okay. We no. mentioned you, bro. <laughs> Mobile four five eight hit the bottom value in my opinion. I'm not sure. I think it's well. Dan owes it, and he devalues cars. So that's true. Now that Dan owns the four five eight, the the market value will certainly drop. Yeah. As we know from previous experience with other Ferraris, Dan. I'm, I am expert. At devaluing cars, that is one of my best things I could do. Um, I did give an update about the test row set. Uh, I s already said it's the project's unfortunately dead. Um, the Porsche Taycan, I don't know what's the current status of that. I need to talk to my brother. Wasn't he just putting like a hold on it? Like you put money on it, like a retainer? Yeah. And like he had some life stuff come up, so I'm not sure if he's getting it or not now. So I think he, I don't know. I got to talk to my brother. I haven't talked to him about it in a, about a month. How did us, how did we meet? Oh, how did Dan and I meet? Well, Dan and I met in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Dan was born and raised Kalamazoo. I moved up there when I was a little girl. Hey Tim. Hi Tim. Tim's here. Tim of the 348 fame. Um, so we met in Kalamazoo, which was Dan's hometown. And one night, uh, our mutual friend who was like equidistant between our ages, Becky Ringle, um, came and picked up me. I was 16 at the time. I snuck out of my house because I did stuff like that all the time. And uh, in Michigan, there's basements and there's a fire escape from the basement. You can climb up it. And I did. And I ran to my uh, drive. How'd that, how'd that go? And I ran to the, uh, the front of the driveway and hopped in Becky's Sebring convertible. 
And she drove me out to meet with the old people. Dan was in a parking lot uh, at a restaurant called Pizza Square, which is no longer there in Kalamazoo. Um, and Becky introduced me to him in the parking lot. He was there with his cutlass. Oh, yeah. He was there with his red cutlass. And she introduced me and suggested that he give me a ride. And so Dan and I have been an item. And he dated Becky. Then did, did he? Yes. Oh, I totally forgot about he that. He totally did, didn't he? And he dated Andy, Becky. Did you, right? did you date Becky? All right, we'll have to wait for a response to that. Yeah. But yeah, I remember. Oh man, that's funny. Um, Tell us the car Dan had when you lived together in apartment. Hot rod car was loud as hell. Uh, that was the the he, Chevelle. The Chevelle or the Cutlass. Yeah. That was that was uh yeah. <laughs> you guys went out once. What is? Oh. oh, Andy has a wife, so I'm not going to give him too hard a time. <laughs> I like Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had, I well, no, I had a... Uh, I a, never dated her. I, I went have, out once. I did have an Oldsmobile. So we, I had an Olds when I met Meg. I had an Olds Cutlass for, with a 455 rocket. Oh, yeah. But then when we lived in the apartment together, I had a Chevelle with a 468. So I sold the Cutlass... Uh, and then bought the Chevelle later on. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> she, someone had something I was going to answer, but I totally forgot what it was. Oh, well. Uh, anyway. Uh, yes, the Cutlass. Is Bill Knapp still there? Holy I'm sure crap. it is. Uh, no. Bob Evans? No, Bill Knapp's gone. Oh. Last time I was in the well, last Bill time Knapp's was, is gone. It's a piece of my heart. Last time I was there, it was gone. Meg, what are your hobbies? Well, I like to aquaculture coral. I aquaculture coral. I uh, I enjoy marine aquariums. <laughs> I love that Chevelle. That Chevelle was fun, but it was. Was it my question on 9/11? Somebody have a question about the 9/11. Dan is fairly well versed in the in the Porsches. Was it my question on the what? I don't even know. He what was you... wondering if you missed his question because he was going to answer it. Oh, I didn't see that question. Sorry, like it scrolls by and it's hard to like multi to like you're multitasking with Tim with or without. With where, it's uh, deep sand bed, if you deep will. Deep sand bed. I am firmly in camp deep sand bed as yes. it relates to marine aquarium uh, husbandry. Yeah. I'm not even sure that's the right word. But. Uh, oh, yeah, I know I'm still on Strava. I mean, I just. Oh. Hey, Chuck, what the and, heck? And Meg, what do you think of the 599? I don't even know what that is, bro. What's the furry 599? It's a, I think they're awesome. They're a screaming deal. You want an amazing Ferrari for a stupid low price? I mean, reasonably speaking, right? But think of that. You could get a 599 right around like 100000 right now. So you can get a V12 Ferrari for like hundred grand. I think that's insane. I think it's a crazy good deal. I would love to. I haven't tried driving one. Any plans for Teslas? No. I mean, they're fun. I've driven Teslas. We had one in our rental fleet, but... No. Have I, I ever owned a 911? No. Thoughts on a daily driver for barely? Yeah, 911s are. Your solid. brother had one as a daily driver, right? It wasn't a daily, but he, he drove it a lot. Yeah. No, they're 911s are great cars. I, I like them. So why don't I have one? Because I don't have like unlimited funds. I am, I am the normal guy. I have a. No, what's interesting? A I'll reasonably tell you. small budget. <laughs> oh, he would absolutely have a daily driver that was a more exotic car if I were down. And but I'll tell you, when he got the 430. That was back when, and I was heavily in adjustment mode. Holy shit. Fred! Fred! You of all people don't need to give us money. Yeah, no shit, Fred. What are you doing, bro? Well, okay. If, so if you guys don't know, Fred, who just uh, slapped like cash down. Thanks, Fred. I am actually, oh, yeah. I, I, this is actually, it's a good thing he did this. Um, so Tuesday of next week, I am actually flying out to California and I'm going to be hanging out with Fred, and we're going to go test drive an F8. Yes, we're going to go dr drive a new Ferrari F8. So I'm going to give a review of it. Hopefully, like, we're, we're kind of by the constraints of what Ferrari's going to let us do. So hopefully Ferrari's going to let us play Are they the going to put somebody in the car to escort you when you guys are test driving That's it? That, probably they are. Probably, because Ferrari is really weird about that. Yeah, I but, bet they are. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go tr test drive an F8. Fred's actually trying to buy one, so 
fuck yeah. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't say that. But uh, F yeah. Quack yeah. Quack yeah. Fred is comfortable with you saying that. He knows. Okay. Well, yeah. He knew you were gonna well, it's going to be on the video. Well, yeah, but is Fred going to be on the video? Is he yeah. comfortable with that? By the way, Fred, are you uh, – I'll just give him a credit card. <laughs> are you, I, 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 we have to figure that out. I haven't talked to him. Okay, about, but don't mention that stuff until you talk to the poor guy. Well, anyway, so, yeah, he's – Okay, okay, okay. So on Thursday of next week, so a week from today, week from today – uh, we're gonna go to. I have to look up the name of the place, but it's the the shops in Chino Hills Thursday night. So if you want to be a, if you want to meet me, then come out to the shops in Chino Hills on Thursday of next week. So I I don't know the time, but I'm guessing it'll probably be about eight o'clock at night uh, local time. So anyway, somebody just told us to stop reading the comments. Is the etiquette? And I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. Cam invading, he's joking. Invading oh. our privacy. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if there is a live stream etiquette and we're supposed to like conduct ourselves and no. let them speak amongst themselves. I'm sorry. I'm new to being a cam girl. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, I'm new to being a cam girl. <laughs> I don't know if it's the yellow. The, the yellow one wasn't an F8. That was an SF90. Uh, so they let life of. Let's take an F8 on his own. Well, yeah. Well, I think once you're a really, really, really big YouTuber, they know where to find you. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll, they'll give you. Pretty sure Cam Girls is something else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, cam Girls. Uh. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, only read the super chat. Yeah, I, I mean. If money were no object, what car would you have in your garage, Dan? Probably a Ferrari F40. <laughs> I'm sure it's that. Yeah. I'm sure it's I've that. always, always loved the F40. Although, admittedly, when we were out in uh, uh, Vegas and Scottsdale, and I got to meet the owner of this F50, and I will say the F50 is just gorgeous. Like the F40 is like when you see, like when you see an F40 up close and you really get to spend some time staring at it, you're like, God damn, this thing's like a kit car. Like seriously, it looks like a like it was put together with like like Legos and duct tape, like it's just terrible. And so then you see an F50 and it's totally refined, but the F40 just always has a special place in my heart because it was kind of like the crazy cool first car that I really like was like, wow, this is amazing. But the F40 to me always looked like, and I, I didn't understand, I don't, you know, okay, this is all kind of by proxy, me coming to appreciate things through Dan, but I didn't know what an F40 was and I had no mm. idea that it was very special among Ferraris. And it kind of just looks to me like an eight-year-old drew it. And the people at Ferrari were like, yeah. And then they, <laughs> they, they engineered it to look like that. It's just, it does. It looks very much like a kid drew it. But that's actually, so that's the thing I've always said. I shouldn't say this, but that's why I've always said, oh, you can hit show. Why, why did it block that? I have no idea. It blocked your post, Kevin. I don't know why. Plus F50s are now money over the F40. Why would that get blocked? YouTube, I have no idea. Fix your algorithm, YouTube. I don't want a cyber truck. No, the it's cyber so truck. so ugly. Dude, the cyber truck is hideous. I'm sorry. That thing. Wait, but is it like electric or something? Yeah. Oh, then I shouldn't hate on it. I'm really, really actually supportive of that. Yeah, but they could have made it look like a real truck instead that of like, they could have. Instead of like like something a five year old would draw. Okay, but he sold out of like all of them immediately, right? Yeah, anyway. Coming to Florida for Amelia Island Concours? No, unfortunately, at this not at this point. So unfortunately, my traveling for this year is fairly limited because of budgetary constraints. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me talking about all that sort of stuff. So I'm really trying to like focus the YouTube channel on how to make it make money this year. So like basically, like you know, since you guys are kind of in the know, since you're on the live chat. Um, I basically got about a year-ish of uh, runway left of money from my investment, uh, from the investor. And so I really need to make this thing make money before that money runs out. Otherwise, the gig is up and I'm going back to software. So, is it gig up? It's the jig is up, isn't it? I thought it was gig. I think it's a jig. Jig is up. Is it gig or jig? Somebody will tell us. Yeah. Anyway, so you two are much too reserved. Really? Really? All right. I feel like More I, wine. I feel like I'm a fairly open book. Yeah. 
Am I going to Barrett Jackson Scottsdale? Jig, no, jig, jig. Oh, really? Is the jig is up? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I've been seeing it wrong for my entire life. Son of a bitch. It's like I had one of my. I got one gig. Yeah. It's not gig. <laughs> How long is the stream? I don't know. Whenever we're we're done. I mean, we we uh don't have an agenda. Yeah, about, about an hour ish. Usually. When are the kids coming? Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Jig in the north, gig in the south. Interesting. That could be right. Jig for normal guys, gig for software peoples. Yeah, you know that makes sense. It's a gig. I just thought it was a gig, as in like, you know, like the gig economy. You know, I don't know. Yeah, but that saying. Far, far, like predates the gig economy. The JPEG is up. Thank you. Oh, wait, Chuck. sorry. It's the uh, what? Are they, it's not JPEG. They call it GIF or JIF. Oh, no, the it's big GIF. argument. Oh yeah, GIF. Yeah, sorry. The JPEG is up. The the GIF. Yeah, the GIF, GIF is it's up. GIF. I hate that. Anyway, what do you think about the SLS AMG? I mean, I think they're fine. They're cool cars. I'm not a big AMG fan. I don't really have any interest in owning one. But if you want an AMG. The SLS is certainly a badass car. Speaking of trucks, do you have a do you have a truck for utilitarian purposes? No, I don't. I would love one. Right now, my utilitarian utilitarian vehicle is my Ferrari Forester. Yeah. Yeah, his uh, Surari or something people called it. I don't know what. The but yeah. Ferrari. So I'll tell you a story about the Subaru Forester that we have that's a million years old. The reason Dan doesn't have a more fancy daily driver is because when he got the 430, the the way that he got the 430 oh, in yeah. the beginning that he got me convinced me to buy it was he was like, yeah, I don't need a daily driver, babe. I'm just gonna, I can totally drive 430 to work. And I'm like, okay, because you're not getting a daily driver if you get this car. And you know, and uh, yeah, I mm, I was I was not okay emotionally when he went away, went ahead with the F430 purchase, but. So, shockingly, I don't know how many months later, but how many, he came to me and he's like, Megan, no, I, can I have a daily driver? The 430 isn't good in the rain. I don't think it's safe. And so, I'm like, you know, I'm like, at first I was like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. We have this conversation. You always do this to me. And then, um, my mom and my dad were going to get like a different SUV. Their old Forester happened to be something that they were going to get rid of. I knew it was uh, well taken care of and reliable because my parents had owned it. And because I was their daughter, I got a very good deal on it. Yeah. And I was like, you can drive that <laughs> so was for your daily driver. What percent of your net worth should you invest in a Ferrari? Well, first of all, I think that's a bad term. You shouldn't say invest in a Ferrari. I would say it's not an investment. I think people that look at cars as investments are – just looking for pain, um, even though theoretically you could make money on some Ferraris, but that's like super rare Ferraris that cost a shitload of money. Like, I mean, honestly, if you could, if you could get a like four five eight Speciale right now, you might be able to get uh, some money on that. Yeah, I don't know. People posting weird stuff. Um, but yeah, you, exactly. Fred's got it right. You buy a Ferrari because you want the Ferrari, not because you want to make money. Exactly. So don't buy a Ferrari thinking you're going to make money. But anyway, how much of your net worth do you put into a Ferrari? It's totally, it's, the problem is that's like not, there's no formula. There's no like one right answer to it. Um, so it's, it's too complicated. It depends on your situation. Like, I don't know. I can't tell people to say, oh, you shouldn't put this much money into your car. It's like, I don't know your, your personal finance situation. Don't spend more than 50% of your annual income. Yeah, I would. That's a pretty good rule. I mean, definitely not. Yeah. Um, behind your printer, eating a PS4 controller? We don't have any consoles. We don't have video games. I think he's talking about my router. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, anyway. HP, Omen, we got it. It's it's blocking you because it thinks you're spamming. Whoa. Oh, who's Ben Song? Big fan of the channel. Hey, Ben. Well, thank you. I've never seen you before, bro. Yeah, that's a new... Well, thank you. Don't get a second mortgage. No kidding. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. In that, fact, we're on a 15-year mortgage in our house because we wanted to pay off faster and pay less interest on it over time. Yes. What is our interest rate on our house right now? 
2.75. Yeah. I love it. I love that. Can I update my computer RAM with DDR2 and DDR3 at the same time? I don't know. I, I'm I'm not a hardware guy. I'm a software guy. Maybe. Uh, every channel, don't get me wrong, but the big, big channels are, are cool, but your channel is real and way more awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank so you. yeah, to, to piggyback on what that guy just said, we I see a lot of comments on Dan's videos like, you need to be like DDE. Guys, I'm yeah. not even hating on DDE. DDE yeah. does an awesome job of being DDE. And if Dan tried to act like DDE, you would dislike him because it would be totally inauthentic. Stop telling Dan to be like DDE or Stradman. They are awesome at what they do and they already exist. And Dan is very, very, uh, he admires them and their success. They've got their own formula. What was it like the first day, the day you bought your first Ferrari? It was, I was a nervous wreck. Seriously, driving it home so I bought it. So I bought the 430 in San Antonio and I drove it home from San Antonio and the entire drive home. I was like, I was clearly having buyer's remorse. I was like, Oh my God, like it's going to explode. It's going to catch on fire. It's not going to start. Like, you know, all the myths of Ferraris were just running through my head constantly. Like, you know, it's just like, Oh my God, what have I done? I totally fucked up. I'm sorry. effed up, cracked up. Man, can you tell my wife that if Dan can have a Ferrari, she should let me buy it. Guys, uh, I didn't want to buy the Ferrari. Uh, Dan, at the time he bought it, people are always like, how do I convince my wife to let me buy a car? And Dan didn't convince me to buy that car. He just had enough goodwill. Hmm. He had enough goodwill saved up from being a good husband and a good person that he knew I would be still be around to love him, even though he made the decision I did not agree with. It was a reasonable gamble. Uh, Charles Cree used Ferrari 360 or a new mid-engine vet. I, that depends what you want. Do you want a Ferrari or do you want a Corvette? I mean, if you want a Ferrari, I would get the Ferrari. I would, I would say I personally don't think it's a good idea to buy a new vet immediately just because they're all going to be devaluing so dramatically. I think they're going to be hopefully amazing cars. I, I really, really, really want to try driving one. So I'm the reason I have that probably won't be a problem. No, but the, the reason I haven't like really said what I like really think of the car is because I haven't driven it. Like I've only seen it. So like number like I hate I hate when people go by these numbers. Like they're like, oh, like you know, my car has a faster Nurburgring time and it's zero to sixty time is blah blah blah. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, what's it like to really drive? That's the the thing. People always forget what's it really like to drive that car. Like, and, and and to me, the Corvette, my Corvette, does not drive as well as the 458, even though it's almost as fast. And so when I hear people say my Corvette's just as good, I'm like, no, it's not, because it's not. Like, it's different. So I want to see what the new Corvette's like. I do think it's going to be an amazing car, and certainly for the money, it's going to be badass. But I don't know that it's going to be too Ferrari caliber. And that's, I mean, it's one of those things that until you've driven a Ferrari, you can't say that. Okay. I mean, but what I know for sure, objectively speaking, because Dan is talking about a special feeling you guys get inside. Yes. I know from watching him and Stu and observing a Corvette over the last year, probably that Corvette is going to take a lot less of your spare time when you're not driving it. Yeah, a new Corvette is going to be way oh. less time for you personally. Sure, it's not going to break. No. no. And it's not going to need any 360 at this point. Yeah, 360, that's the only thing about 360 is it's an old car. They're 20 plus years old now. Yeah. So, yeah, any 20 year old car is going to need work, right? Stuff's going to go wrong. I mean, 360s, you still have to do the timing belts every five years. So, it's, I, I don't know. I mean, the 360 is a weird one because. I, they, it's it's old enough that it has a very particular driving feeling about it. It's not a mo like it's not what I would consider to be a modern supercar. It's it's very raw. Like the shifts in the 360 are not refined. <laughs> it's a polite way of saying it. So. And I would say that the 430 is definitely more violent yeah. when it's shifting as well because I have driven both. I've driven multiple Ferraris now, which is not something is not something I thought I would accomplish ever. Um, 
And I feel bad because I'm, again, I said this before, but I'm living a 14 year old boy's best life. Yeah. There are so many men who should be married to my husband appreciating this. Oh, um, oh it's Jeff. Put a smile Jeff. on Jeff's face. Hi, Hi Jeff. sweetie. Jeff, every time I hear your car, I nearly orgasm. That should make you feel better. <laughs> and I like you, Jeff. Oh, uh, Fred's asking, how's the anti-gravity battery holding up? Dude, it's badass. So I actually didn't drive the Ferrari for almost two weeks. And everyone was like, oh, it's going to like go into the standby mode. And it didn't. It still had enough juice that it was fine. And it still started the car. So my old battery, two weeks, there's no way it would have started the car. It would have been dead. <laughs> By the way, everybody say hi to Jeff. Jeff is the owner of the 355. They just did his oil change. Yes. Yes. Um, so Jeff Bowen is in the house. Say hi to him. I know a lot of you like him. <laughs> you, you orgasming does not make me smile. <laughs> By the way. Someone's uh, like, Jeff, you're awesome. Thank you, GT Pro. If you happen to see Andy he stands comment. Andy noted, so I had, when Andy was down here, I had him drive my 430. Everybody's saying hi, Jeff. <laughs> hi, Jeff. Hi, hi, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. But anyway, Andy, Andy drove the 430 and got to experience it. And it was funny because before he drove it, I don't think he quite got Ferrari. And now he's like, dude, that was amazing. And if anybody knows Andy, oh, oh. thank you, Forward Media, LLC, the, BR, LLC. Open um, the TIG. Open the TIG. Not tonight. When we hit 50,000, we'll have a TIG. How there about that? Yeah, yeah. When we hit 50,000, the first live after 50,000, we'll open the TIG. Yeah. I'll promise you that, okay? Here, I'll cheers. Cheers. Chink. There we go. There you go. But um, <laughs> somebody had a good question. Dan doesn't, I already know Dan doesn't really hmm. care for Supras. What's my opinion on the new Supra? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, not, I'm not a big Supra fan. Um, that's cool. So in this dream car is a 4 8 because of the channel. Well, thank you. I think four five eight is pretty epic. That's you he know. thinks it's epic. I think I need more wine. I am working on it. Oh, I was gonna say, um, Andy, if anybody doesn't, I mean, you you would have to have followed us for years now. But there's a video of Andrew Heestand, who's on here on this chat. He is one of our very very OG friends Back from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Michigan. Andy helped Dan fix a few things on the Ferrari last time he was here. The Ferrari F430. Um, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. And Andrew is the one with the, what is his old car that's like a sleeper? Fairmont. Fairmont. Yeah. So look for the Fairmont video among Dan's old videos, and it's Andy's car. I have considered LASIK. Um, I'm just not sure I want to spend that much money on it. Um, actually, you know what would be cool is when Andy's here in town, we should do a live while Andy's here. We should! Yeah. Uh, am I going to breakfast on Saturday? I'm going to probably go. It looks like it's going to rain. So I'm pl I was planning on it. Well, so only thing is I don't know how long I can stay because we're actually going to. So um, if you guys remember Frankie, the guy who bought my F430, he is getting married this uh, Saturday. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're, so we're going for the celebratory. Yeah, so we're going to, to his uh, wedding on Saturday. Um, oh, yeah. The, the 360 in a manual transmission would be badass yes. and we know a person who can make your oh well, yeah art can convert them art in san antonio will make your car a manual we're in texas we're in austin texas have we thought about doing a blooper video we kind of sort of do on occasion i mean when i do okay. my bloopers he puts them at the end of my video yeah the problem is i don't um get a whole lot of bloopers because just by the way i film so I don't have like, I don't do, a, one thing that's really strange is I actually don't do a lot of retakes. I know a lot of YouTubers like will do multiple takes to get it right. Yeah. I make them do multiple takes on me every time. Yeah. Cause she I'm, does. my videos are few and far between. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't use that. Don't use that. Let's do it again. Do it again. Yeah. But I, I actually don't do a lot of retakes. In fact, when we're working on the cars, like when we're wrenching, I, um, I can only think of one incident where I actually did a retake which was when we took the wheel bearing off my 430. Uh, I like was working out for like two hours to get the damn thing off. And I finally got it off and I, I realized the camera wasn't running. So I had to go put it back on to take it back off. Oh, Jeff, by the way, I don't think Stu's here. I haven't seen him pop up. Yeah, I haven't seen Stu. And he up. usually makes his presence known. Yeah, he's usually, uh, yeah. 83 degrees and in, in Austin yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, hot yesterday. Dude, we had to run the air conditioner. I'm gonna have to mow the lawn. Like this weekend, what the hell's going on? Like mowing the lawn in January? What the, what the, 
if I cut on one Japanese luxury car? That's a good be? question. I don't know. That's a great question. I don't. I, I haven't really thought about that much. I mean, I do like Subarus, but I wouldn't really consider like the Subaru to be a luxury car. I don't know. Straight out of the bottle. Wait, is Subaru Japanese? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Dan has owned two Subaru STIs uh -huh. over the years. Yeah, the LFA. Good call. Good call, Fred. The LFA. Actually, you know what's funny is I actually – I'm going to get shit for this. I dislike the look of the LFA, but I love the sound. The sound is just epic, but I hate the look of it. I think it looks like a turd, but that's just me. I mean, whatever. You know, it's – eh. I would, I would ever want one. Buy an LFA. No, I don't. Everyone's like, buy this, buy that. I don't, I don't. Everybody's always like, damn, buy this. Okay. I got to tell you guys something. Unlike so many of the Do other. Do a collab with PewDiePie. Yeah. That's how you get viewers. Unlike so many of the other YouTubers you guys are used to watching, I don't have this giant pile of money to go buy a new car every week. I just can't. Like, I know that's like, that's pretty much like the business model for like Stradman and DDE. Like, that's like. Hey, let's buy a new car. Hey, I'm going to buy another new car. Hey, guess what? I wrapped my car. Oh, it's crashed. Let's get rid of it. Let's buy another new car. I like let's paint it purple. Let's, yeah. It's let's like, wrap that mofo. To be fair, I'm not saying that that's bad. They're they're succeeding. So again. No, no, no. I think they have a niche. They have a, well, they have a large niche. And uh, it's just Dan's not going to try and emulate that because it's like foreign to him. Yeah. And you guys would hate it. Anybody would hate watching Dan. Trying to be DDE or Dan trying to be Stradman. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And there's one DDE guy that follows Dan and comments oh. on like every video. Because one time Dan made it wasn't even a mean remark about DDE, but kind of like I'm like giving them a little shit. I gave it a little shit. And a so now shade. he now he follows all our videos, all of Dan's videos rather, and he's like, Why are you giving DDE shit? DDE rules. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. So, well, you own a Ferrari. What does it mean you can't buy a new car? Yeah, no, that's, believe me, I've heard that logic so many times. You own a Ferrari. You can afford to do blah, blah, Oh, somebody's in Belgium. Hi. Oh, really? Yay. I want to go there sometime. I would love to be in Belgium. Yes. Stu said he's on the way. Of course he is. He texted Stu. Well, he's always late. Stu is always late, so he should arrive an hour after the live stream begins. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, Stu! Everybody say hi to Stu. Stu of normal guy fame. Stu with the 360. Both Jeff and Stu are here. There's no Richard. Shame on you, Richard. No Loper. No Chris. He's no too Loper. cool. Loper's too cool for this. Loper's out with all those hot chicks that follow him around. <laughs> uh, I need to get arrested and cuffed that won't get me views. But that's like, that's the thing. Is like, I don't want to get arrested for the point of getting views like that's just not my mo see okay so the name of the channel is normal guy supercar <laughs> yeah it's not like let's do stupid shit and get arrested anyway meg is taking over the channel no, <laughs> no meg is not taking over the channel megan works all day today <laughs> carrie loper's trying to find a chick that likes his wheels <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Bring the a-hole cop on the live stream. It, we they, actually, we put an olive branch out there one time at the end of that one video. Yeah, yeah, I did. Shockingly, that. he did not reach out to Dan. Yeah. The criminal guy supercar. Criminal guy supercar. Felony, I, felony guy supercar. I'm pretty sure that's DDE's brand. <laughs> that's just not Dan. It's not his brand, guys. <laughs> Oh man, lover's life. Yeah, she did go savage on him, man. That was hilarious. I actually joked. I'm like, dude, Loper, I need to film your wife just giving you crap about your car more often. It would be hilarious. Who wants to see Loper's wife review Loper's car? Gifting what? Who's been a fan before 2020? Gifting my next. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means either. It's not actually Mr. Beast, it's unfortunately. Not, it'd be interesting if it were Mr. Beast. Dude, if Mr. Beast showed up, that'd be crazy. If Mr. Beast showed up, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, it would be He can use as many ridiculous. expletives as he would like. Yeah, if I did stupid stuff, I'd be like compete with Jackass. Exactly. That's not me. So more live PD content. I can't force that. Like I can't just like 
So first of all, we need to find where Live PD is filming and then just go and like yeah, do so donuts in the middle of an intersection. Well, so first of all, Live PD is no longer in uh, in the Austin area. They left, so they are not allowed to film here anymore. But Mr. B says it is Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, please, uh, if this is Mr. Beast, go ahead and give me five thousand dollars, and then I will believe it is you. Like, look at my channel. Look at my channel. Oh boy. Look at my channel. By the way, you're you're getting flagged for spam, Mr. Beast, because we're gonna hide you and ban you, Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. Hell's yeah on Loper's wife 458 review. I think that would be a very good idea. As we have discovered, the wife reviewing the car is a pretty good formula. All right, he's just a troll. Okay. Bye. The guy impersonating Mr. Beast will be banned. <laughs> ban hammer. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of other, yeah, there's other big YouTubers who have done other ways of making money. So Street Speed, Tavarish, all that stuff. Um, but it's like the, the lowest common denominator of YouTube car videos is like, hey, let's go get cops. Let's go do some, like, like every time, like admit it. All of you guys admit it. When you're browsing for videos and you're scrolling through it, all of a sudden there's one of like, got pulled over, got arrested. You're like, click. I mean, it just works, right? It's so, uh, those guys have done that. You know, it's just, that's just not what I want. Like, that's not my goals. That's not what I want this to be. And it's not what I, I really want, guys. And uh, like, I really, like, I wouldn't recognize my husband. If he was out trying to get arrested for stuff, that is not the type of person I would marry. But yes, negativity does sell on YouTube. That's so. If you notice, like I had someone uh, recently complaining about my channel. They're like, "Oh man, you've been so negative lately. Everything's been complaints." And it's like, but you realize it's working. Well, like, you're negative. It's not that. It's not that it's negative. It's just I'm showing you some realities. Like I'm talking about the failed turtle business. That's. I guess a negative, but it's like, yeah, let's let's talk about these things. You know, those sorts of things actually get views. So like that Turo video is getting a stupid amount of views, which makes no sense. But okay, I'll talk about Turo and how it sucked. So I'll do that. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, Andy got arrested and that's how he ended up in Michigan. <laughs> did Andy get arrested in Arizona? For drag racing. Andy did get arrested for drag racing long before I met him. Yeah. But yeah, Andy's a badass. <laughs> hey, Billy Badass. Hey, Billy. You get arrested for drag racing. Tarvarish does have a lot of half finished projects. And that's part of it is like you got to look at what he's trying to do. And he's again going into the formula of buy a new car, buy a new car, buy Thank a new you, car. Thank you, Leon. Yeah. So it's like when you. That's one of the, like there's different formulas that seem to work without really trying on YouTube. And one of them is just constantly have a new car. I mean, go look at the video when I bought my new 458, new to me, that got a shitload of views. I got like a hundred thousand views really fast. And so that's like, that's, Thank but that's you, not, Jeff. that's not, that's not a, a, a scalable way to grow a channel. It's just stupid. Is Meg my daughter? No. Question for Meg. How do you feel about exotic car ownership now versus when Dan bought his 430? How do I feel about it now? Mm. Um, mm. Ownership now? Like, I don't feel any different about it. I've come to, like, an emotional place of acceptance. When Dan bought his 430, uh, I, I was not happy about it for, like, really for a good six months. Mm. And every time the Ferrari was brought up, I had something passive aggressive. 12 months. You think more like a year? It was a year. Yeah. And the, I made passive aggressive comments about that car for a long time, which I'm not terribly proud of, but I think I wasn't in total agreement with the purchase. And Dan did it because he kind of weighed the pros and cons. And he's like, she loves me enough to forgive me. Um, and he went ahead and bought it. Some guy said, I'll put a, four, put a 458 engine in the Mini Cooper. I'll personally come help you swap it in. Sure, if you want to buy the engine, you sure. can go they're, ahead and they're put that in like, my Mini Cooper. Yeah, they're only like 50 grand. Yeah. Uh, Hoovy, yeah. 
Kubi gets a new car like every week. It's just insane. Um, okay, so I bought the come and take it shirt. Hey, I came up with the come and take it shirt. Mm. That's my shirt. Yeah, that's true. It's actually true. <laughs> Where did you see that? I didn't see that one. Some guy, he was like, I was pleasantly surprised with how comfy the quality of the oh, yeah. and take it shirt was. Yeah, I, I, I opted for the higher grade material, which is partly why they're a little bit more expensive t-shirts. I used to use the shit material t-shirts and they were cheaper, but then I was like, yeah. Those are the, are the really thick, like cardboard feeling Yeah, shirts. it feels like. I can, t guys, Dan has like 200 t-shirts on hangers in our closet. <laughs> and I can tell when it's the crappier, like cotton that feels like paper. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. Oh, so as long as I got a reasonable crowd here. So again, something I discussed earlier, I'm going to discuss again, two things. One, I'm going to be turning on memberships for this channel this weekend. So that means basically for those of you that are, uh, there's been some people who have said, Hey, I'd love to help out your channel, but I don't know how. So that's a way you can. So basically you can go on to my community page and there'll be a join button and that will allow you to subscribe to my channel for a monthly fee uh, that will get you access to some interesting stuff i'm going to have some videos explaining it so stay tuned for that it's going to start off as cheap as two bucks a month which i think is pretty reasonable and go all the way up to like you know loper levels of, of monthly fees <laughs> if you want to um and then of course you'll get different cool stuff based on the different uh levels of membership but uh and so anyone who can thank you if you if you can't don't worry about it like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna suddenly nothing nothing will change right i i so like that was one thing i i kind of uh don't want to do is i don't want to be like oh i'm taking away stuff and now you have to pay for it like i'm not going to do that so for example like one of the things i know some of the the youtubers do is they take away live chats and they say oh you have to be a member to get the live chat and screw that now i'm still going to have free stuff so um, I don't, I don't believe in that because I understand like Meg and I were in a position in our life where we couldn't afford stuff. So, um, yeah, exactly. This is YouTube's equivalent to Patreon. So basement level package is two bucks a month. I figure that's pretty reasonable. Um, what do they get for two bucks a month? Well, I mean, it gets you a discount on my merch and, oh, okay. and like, there, I don't know. There will be some specific. Hey, I'm not hating on it. If you're willing to give $2 a month, to watch Dan and I shoot this shit, God bless you. <laughs> you I mean, yeah, exactly, Kevin. Can you imagine paying for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be coming out soon. Anyway, it's uh, don't feel obligated, but it'd be cool if you can. And if you can't, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna like treat you any differently. So the second thing that's coming up is next week I will be in California, and on Thursday, Thursday evening. I will be at the 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 shops in Chino Hills, uh, and we'll grab some beers. So if you're in that area and you'd like to grab a beer and come meet me, you are more than welcome to do so. So Thursday, I will give details on my Facebook and Instagram. Come have a beer with Dan the Normal Man. Yeah, and I'll post it on my community page. Uh, so I'll I'll give the details. I think it's probably gonna be eight o'clock in the Chino Hills the shops. And probably at the yard house or the yard, I think. It's, that's a popular place. Yeah, they got beer and I like beer. So that seems good. So anyway, about eight o'clock, if you can make it cool, hang out, have a beer, get to meet me. Chino Hills, where Kevlar. <laughs> Kevlar? No, it's a nice area. What are you talking about? I think. I don't know what they're talking about. Are they talking about California? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think based on the fact that Dan's friend Fred in California is doing what he's doing and bringing Dan out there to test drive the F8. I, uh, I, I don't think it's a bad Oops. area. I'm going to pull it up on a map and take a picture. I'm pretty sure it's not like, welcome to Oakland. Yeah, I don't think it's a crappy area. So it's there. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> Chino Hills is nice. Yes, I live 20 minutes from there. There you go. See, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, like, anyway. Can hey, I, have you been? Oh. How do I know Meg won't spend it on hair products? I get my hair cut twice a year, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't, like, I use a, a shampoo and a conditioner. 
um, that's like mid grade. It's called bedhead. And I then I use this detangler stuff because my hair has some body. Oh, no, he, he said, you asked that question twice. You paid me two dollars to talk about my hair. I think you, you may have accidentally hit some stories <laughs> too. Sorry, you just got screwed out of two bucks. <laughs> There isn't really any bad areas in Cal anymore. It's too expensive. Even Compton is nice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't live there, but it's probably true. Uh, test driving a new ride already? No, I will be test driving an F8, which I'm hoping is going to be pretty epic. I have to say, I'm actually really excited to try driving. Is that F8. the most expensive Ferrari you will have ever driven? Well, I mean, I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe? Maybe because I mean, in today's dollars, the question is: Is the Testarossa in today's dollars more than that? I don't know. I'd have to do the math. Oh, you mean it's like inflation? Yeah, yeah. Was the Testarossa like in the day. a big effing deal back in the day? Oh yeah. It was like the top of the line. It was uh, at that time. Yeah, it may have been. It was the shit. I mean, it was definitely a high end car at the time. I used Bedhead. <laughs> Jeff uses Bedhead. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, okay, and everybody knows Jeff has gorgeous hair. I'm jealous. You and Richard, jeez. You and Richard. Richard's just Richard. silver fuck. Where's Richard? I don't know. Richard, He's I don't know. He's cool. Yeah, Richard's out taking flying lessons. Oh, probably. I just put a dollar in the DVD slot. Did I get it? No. <laughs> it's probably like getting crowned up. In the no, room. but seriously, Jeff has gorgeous hair. Mm -hmm. He has the, the hair of a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> I am not getting a Lambo. I will. Dan's not getting a Lamborghini, guys. Not at this point. Maybe someday, if the YouTube channel grows huge, then maybe we can like get a Lambo project car. I, I would love to do that, but yeah, we'll pick up the tab for dinner, wine, beer when you come down to Austin. Hey, when are you coming down to Austin, Sean? He was. Does the... Dan use Bedhead? No, Dan no. uses Pert Plus <laughs> for his shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. He's one of those dudes. It's like a three in one. He's like, uh, just rub it all over myself. I actually, when I used to uh, bike to work, I used to have a three in one. I bet you did. Because then I only needed one bottle. It made sense anyway. Meg is going to need a pole in the room. Megan doesn't need a pole. Oh, here we go. Have to do a pole or a costume. Dude, do you what? have dollar, dollar, dollar? like no. red flagged as a swear word? No, I don't know why it keeps flagging though. Sorry, like YouTube's algorithm is really aggressive. Uh, you're coming down this spring. Okay, well, before you come down, let me know. You're more than welcome to come grab a beer and see the garage and hang out and shit. So Sean is the guy who met me when I made my um, stop on my road trip with uh, um, my for, for show. Show. Yeah. Oh, you mean the one in North Carolina? Yeah. On the way, we stopped um, in uh, – uh, God, I can't come. I forget the name. Anyway, he was there. He was one of the first viewers. Well, you are welcome to come by, my friend. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Have to do a pull over by cop video. No. Not doing that. Sorry. Keep the questions coming, guys. Scott. If you, if you have any more – Scott? What about, yeah, yeah. Is well, Scott here? I don't know. No, no. Scott was in the car when we were on the road trip. Yes, that was yeah. Scott. And we stopped at, I don't remember the name of, what was the name of the city? It was um, Tyler. Tyler. God. Tyler, Texas. That's where Dan has spent a lot of time driving many thousands of miles through the American uh, Southeast this last year. Yes. Drove some, but yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some nice areas in Austin. There's some crazy expenses. There are some very choice areas of Austin. Oh, nice. I'll see you in Chino. I have the GT2 RS. Hell, yeah. Those are badass. Those are great cars. Yes. Get the Ray-Ban carbon fiber sunglasses. I have Ray-Bans. He's joking about what I said when I reviewed oh. the 458. I don't think Ray-Ban actually makes carbon fiber they sunglasses. Do. They do? Well, they have, like, some carbon fiber in the sides. I was joking about that. I can't believe that's real. Yeah, of course it is. Okay, of course it is. When is my next rally? I don't know. Uh, so, unfortunately, rallies have proven to be a poor ROI for the channel. So, I'm not planning on spending any money on doing that. I mean, Dan soon. spent 2019 
basically running around the country. And we'll call 2019 the year of Dan's R&D or like market research, market testing. And he tried a lot of different things. And the rallies don't get a lot of views. Me shooting the shit, excuse my language, in the garage for 30 minutes will get double, triple the views of one of the rally videos. I mean, if people actually were interested in rallies. Oh, hey, Nathan. Nathan. Uh, people were actually interested in rallies that would reflect in the views and there's no correlation there. Why don't you go on realities? <laughs> For the same reasons I don't go to car and co cars and coffee guys. Like it's exhausting to me. I don't like cars that much. I love my husband. I don't like cars that much, but I love Dan and that's why I'm involved with the cars at all. But I really feel <clears throat> um, depleted. By big groups of people in large events. <laughs> Ryan's in Chicago. Dude, fuck that. Sorry, uh, F that. No, I, I, <laughs> I don't go to these events because despite the fact that I feel comfortable talking to you on camera and I'm not a shy person, I just feel really, really uh, depleted by big groups of people. I, it's just, it's not my scene. Twin Turbo the Fright. No! That's the thing about the 458 people don't get is you don't twin turbo the 458. Then you just have a 488. There's no reason to twin turbo the 458. Why would you ever do that? It's <sighs> anyway. Um, yes. Do I have but... hobbies besides fish? Dude, I work a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Hobbies besides fish. Not at this time. Not a lot. I mean, unless you count Netflix. Netflix and Amazon Prime and like constantly one of my favorite things to do is find Dan's clutter in the house and take it to Goodwill or other such place. Dan is the other two of us. Dan is the pack rat and I love to go through that stuff and bag up and make three piles. I love to Marie Kondo stuff. I'm like, this is donate. This is throw away. And uh, the other is recycle. And then I like to ferret it off to various places in the community. I like salmon to eat. My favorite fish to eat. Um, the, that fish in, uh, in oh, there's, Malaysia? There was this amazing fish in Malaysia. Yeah, that was amazing. I don't even remember what it was, <laughs> but it was wonderful. Next time in Austin, I'll take you guys out to dinner at Laundry. What? I don't even know where that place is. <clears throat> Which place? Laundrette? Is that how it's pronounced? I, Laundrette? I don't, even, I don't, I don't know that it. I've ever been there. Didn't we used to scuba dive? Yeah, we still love scuba diving. I dive. love scuba diving. We've been to Palau. We've been to Malaysia. We've been to Indonesia. Um, we've been several places in the Caribbean. We've been in, to Hawaii. We've we've done scuba diving. Um, I mean, but as much as the Caribbean is beautiful, and I'll take it any day. Oh. What? It's a French name for laundry mat. <laughs> okay. So I keep getting asked. Uh, do you know doing collabs with bigger channels and stuff so the problem is i would love to it's not that easy it's not that easy to contact bigger channels when you only have forty thousand subscribers and be like hey let's do a collab and they're like okay piss off you know so like I that's like telling them you need to do a collab with angelina jolie yeah i mean so imagine come on man what if well, you had angelina jolie on why are you calling her it's like the, the gap between like 40,000 and a million is a big, yeah, is a big deal. And you got to consider those guys like have like very specific things that they're trying to accomplish. And so unless you can present them a reason why you're, you should be on their channel, they're not going to just let you on their channel and do a collab. So, I mean, I've tried, I've contacted lots of these channels and unfortunately um, it just doesn't always work. Like they're, you know, they're not interested. You know, I've tried with Tavarish. I've, uh, you, you did. Tarz was on your channel. Yeah, he, he was willing to be on my channel, but he wasn't willing to really do something like or a shout out for me. Stradman did a shout out. Stradman, that was an unprovoked uh, shout out. So that was amazing. Thank you. And then, and then of course, Cletus, I actually bought his access to that race so that he would give me a shout out. Now, and he, he was, did, and he was awesome about it. Yeah, and he was very nice, and you know, actually meeting him, he was a super cool guy. And then, of course, uh, uh, Shmi actually gave me a shout out. Well, he didn't give me a shout out on his channel, but he was on my channel. So again, I hung out with Shmi for three days, and he didn't give me a shout out. He's not going to just give me a shmi. Like, Good a evening, shout out. Speed Freak from Western Canada. You guys are getting Meghan Markle and Harry, Prince of 
Prince of whatever, Prince yeah. of England. Yeah. So the thing is, like, the big channels don't have any reason really to give me a shout out. I'm not offering, like, there's no exchange. There's no quid pro quo. So I was at a pornography store. I was buying pornography. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, what are we? Someone asked a question, though. What was the question? Is Megan Mormon? Why, dude? No. It's fine. I support them. Utah is a beautiful state, uh, but I am not Mormon. We were both raised Catholic. We are not practicing so much anymore. Yeah, we don't really talk about that stuff. Yeah. Uh, two, oh, am I going to Texas 2K20? I don't know. Probably, maybe. Um, Dan has the new Corvette roof in the garage, by the way. That's yes. the latest on it. Yeah. And I want to actually to tomorrow's video, I'm talking about the Corvette roof. So stay tuned for that. Um, Shmi also does buy a ridiculous amount of cars. Yes, he does. So that is uh, something he does. Yeah, that one's not appropriate. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff's like, Jeff's got a conversation going on now. <laughs> Jeff's got Jeff's got fans. Yeah. Richard's got fans. Loper's got fans, and Jeff has fans. They've all been recognized. Stu's got fans. Stu does have fans. Absolutely, Stu has fans. Am I auctioning the old roof for the, for the Corvette? I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Like, it's a big-ass roof. Somebody can come get it. No, no. If you know where I live, come to my house and no. take it out of my effing garage. Dude, I do not want so that dude, Corvette hood. I was actually thinking about mounting it on the wall and then having all the NGS people sign no, it. No, I don't want a broken Corvette hood <laughs> in my garage. Why? I think it would be funny. Come get it, guys. If you have some use for a broken Corvette top. She's trashed. No, I'm not. No, she's not. <laughs> anyway, pin a comment and say, "What, dude? You're trying. You're like way too hard. Like, like it's one thing when you're like, hey, cool, but so this this is exactly you're you're doing exactly why I can't go to a big YouTube channel and get a shout out. You can't just pester someone for a shout out. It doesn't work that way. No. So anyway, uh, I'm I'm tired. Are you tired? It's okay. We'll do it five more minutes. What questions do you guys have? Yeah. You got any questions? Five more minutes and we'll wrap it up. I'm, yep. I'm just like, uh, it's been a long week. I've been editing a lot of videos. Yeah, I work so. today and whatnot. Do you like NASA? Yes. Oh, HP Omen. I feel bad that Dan did that now. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. just saying, like, you know, like, I, I get people who are like, hey, do a sub for sub or subscribe. And I'm like, dude, I, like, I don't know who the f you are. Like I don't know. Anyway, Dana Meg Garage needs needs what, Stu? Kids in the future. That is such an open question, guys. Pay for the shout out. I would I would love to. I did for for uh, for Cletus. Yeah. No, Dan and Cletus was a very quid pro quo. He's like, hey man, you want to race with that car of yours against my four five eight and beat my car? Yeah, that costs. He's like, yes. Yes, I would. That cost me 400 bucks. I it pay, was well worth it. I had to pay 400 bucks to race Cletus. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, kids don't do it. <laughs> uh, am I going to Where would you move if not Austin? With money or without money? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> if, we, if we were independently wealthy or without money? I think in the long term, Dan and I would like, when we're old, We'd like some land somewhere because I kind of like a little like fleet of dogs. And right now I can't really have one, nor do I want to, uh, nor do I have the, the, the time to manage a bunch of dogs, but it would be fun to have a bunch of dogs. When we come to Australia, as soon as I have the money for us. Yes. Fly me to Australia. Yeah. I would love to go back. I will come tomorrow. I've got significant vacation time. Make it happen. Yes. Do I still like and use the Nose Pro? Hell Yeah. Every, I can I can attest. Every time I wash my car. He uses the No Spots Pro every time he uses his car. And when he's feeling friendly to me on my car. Any chance of making a video on the DBS? Yeah, actually, uh, Mike. The What's owner, a DBS? The Aston Martin. Oh. Yeah, he, okay. he said I could do a video on it any time, really. I just, uh, I wasn't, so 
I wasn't doing reviews on the channel because I didn't want to be a review channel, but that seems to be something that you guys like. So I'm starting to try and arrange reviews. Does your discount code still work for the No Spots Pro? I don't know that I ever had one for the No Spots Did you have Pro. a No? Oh, I don't remember that. I mean, if you contact him, I bet he would hook you up anyway. He's like, yeah, I know Dan. He's a really, really nice guy. I met him. He's, you know, anyway. He's the guy in Florida, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dan met him when he was on the road with Todd to get the Testarossa. Yeah, exactly. Am I getting laid today? I don't know. I'm probably going to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, already got laid today. I wish. <laughs> Meg's steamy. You're steamy. Am I steamy? Oh, yeah. So hot. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are something else. Okay. What do I think of the Roma? It's badass. I think it's awesome. Have I done a video about it? No, I haven't. Uh, I want to try driving one. It's just for a California-friendly places in texas to live i wanted to move out of california well if you want anything austin. that's like culturally anywhere close to california austin is probably it yeah that's about right night night yeah. cabdola what made me start my channel it was kind of accidental i suppose i could do a video on that someday take up hunting with your dogs on your land i mean moses would hunt cheerios yeah he's gonna hunt he's truffles gonna <laughs> I don't see him really hunting like animals. He's more like a, do a live stream with Stu Loper and the rest of the gang. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure they would be up for it. Yeah, we should totally do that. Hey, Jeff and Stu, you're you're the only two like regulars I think that are on the channel. We should totally have you uh, come do a live someday. Uh, he still keeps keeps pushing the Miller Light sponsorship. Thank you, Stu. Yes, thank you, Stu. Dan would very much like to be sponsored by Miller Light. That's kind of a big deal for him. What's this? Want to rebuild an F12? Got an, a 2013 F12 with 6,000 miles front impact. I mean, I'd love to. I don't think I can afford it. It'd be awesome. Uh, good night. P Petro, I don't know how to pronounce that. S G U E G. Yeah, whatever. Dubai to review the Ferrari scene over there? Not Dubai. Dan has, we actually have family in Qatar. Yeah, or Qatar. 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 Yeah. Cutter. My sister is living in Qatar right now, so I might make it over there if I can afford to. That would be pretty sweet. I know she's she's like, oh man, there's Ferraris everywhere. It's crazy. So Miller Lite is like water. Yeah, well, that's what you want in Texas. You want like kind of water with alcohol in Texas. Just say Pete. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Would you take Meg to ATX Super? What is ATX Supercars? You've been to that. That was that brunch we did. Oh. You went to that once. Okay. I guess I already went to it. Once. Yeah. We need a video of all the posts we're making about on Facebook about cars for sale, future car dealership. No, actually. <clears throat> That's so, a good question. Great question. That is because uh, I'm announcing the details of it on Saturday. But effectively, I'm offering a new totally free service on my website which is i'm allowing people to list their supercars for sale on my website totally free so it's kind of like a i have a bigger plan for it but any of you that are looking to sell a supercar go to my website normalguyssupercar.com and go to the supercars for sale page and there's a form that you can fill out and submit your supercar for sale so i still have to prove it because i don't want people like posting bullshit, but uh, I'm actually, I have a video coming out explaining all the details about this on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. And it's. Oh, what? yeah. Sorry. Someone said, I'm sorry to interrupt you because someone told me to say hi to their two Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Jade and Trini, I love you. Where do you see that? Right there. It's coming oh. talking about their dogs. See, like this is the problem is like this stuff scrolls by yeah. fast. And so yeah. You miss it. It's impossible to keep it up. Like, yeah. Anyway, yeah, fucking hell. Does a like social security check cover your Ferrari payment? Ha huh, ha. Huh. It's because I'm I'm old. It's because, because I'm, you're old. It's because I'm old. You made a good joke. Because uh, you're old. That's funny. We're old. Uh, uh. Dude, I don't want to be young again. Fuck that. 
Dude. Vin Young sucks. I, being in my 30s is so much better than my 20s. I was so stressed out in my 20s, and I was the poorest I've ever been. Um, and, I, you know, you're just so insecure in your 20s, unless you're very, very lucky and resilient. And I feel I, I'm just so much more confident and settled in myself as a human being in my 30s. Yes. Meg can see better than Dan, and she is trashed. Not trashed. Yes, he's fine. I'm not even 40. That's right. I'm not. It's 40. correct, but the joke is that everybody tells yeah, Dan he's I, old. I've had like tons of people be like, "Oh, boomer! You're, so old. You're a boomer!" Okay, I'm boomer. Like, Our parents are boomers. Dude, I'm like, what the hell? My parents are boomers. I'm not a boomer. Anyway, uh, stupid people, stupid stuff. All right, I think that's probably good. Okay, yeah, we've been doing this for an hour. We and love half. you guys. It's exhausting. It's it's. I, the fact that you guys are hanging out with us on a Thursday night shooting the shit <laughs> is amazing. And <laughs> I'm happy to answer your questions anytime. Yes. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching our live feed. And thank you for watching all of my videos and all this crazy crap. Why is sex a touchy subject? It's not. It's, it's just not. not appropriate. It's just a car channel. This is a car channel. We don't talk about a lot of things. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion. We don't talk about sex. It's not that relevant to cars yeah oh my god hbo man we got it carbon wing for the 458 ain't gonna happen i don't want to like wing. wings i don't want a big old wing on the car uh anyway you guys are amazing yes bianca you need to be on one of these videos you be on, yes bianca can be a, a live chat guest as well yes then i won't have to work so much get and Stu then, and jeff over yeah, here we will Stu, jeff. or richard or chris yeah or chris's wife to talk shit about chris's rims we should do that. Yes, we'll we'll try and I'll try and set up a live with a bunch of the people from the channel. So hopefully you guys will like that if we do. So anyway, you guys, thank you. Good night. Sleep well. Hopefully you're not too lit. Hopefully you drink enough booze. And again, a thank you, a huge thank you to my viewer who wished to remain anonymous for who gifted us gifting, multiple yes. lovely red bottles of red three, wine. Three bottles of wine. So thank you very much. And again, uh, real quick, I will be in. Good night, Jeff. Yes. Good night, Jeff. But Dan is going to be in California. Yes. Listen to this. If you're a Cali so, person. Yes, I'll be in California in the Chino Hills area. Hello, I will Andy. be at the shops in Chino Good Hills to see you too. a week from tonight. So Thursday at 8 p.m. in Chino Hills. So go there. Uh, <laughs> God, what the hell? People post, posting weird shit. Um, and then also, uh, what was the other thing that was coming? Oh, yeah. Don't forget, uh, check out the membership stuff when I turn it on this weekend. And don't forget, we got two videos coming out Friday and Saturday. So watch those videos tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yes. Come watch my video. And then Saturday morning, another video. Like, subscribe, buy yes. merch. Yeah, do all those things. Go visit my website. Go to normalgossipercard.com. Yeah. Share this video. <laughs> All right. Walk my dog. Do we'll my see laundry. You guys. This this video is seven beers long. <laughs> 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 that is the perfect way to end this. Yes. All right, guys. We'll see you. Thank you for watching. Good night. Yes.